Hey guys, welcome to Cisco Nate. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to integrate ISE 3.0 with Active Directory for administrator access. Now the actual integration to Active Directory was already covered in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, just search ISE 3.0 Active Directory integration and it'll come right up. Um, this is specifically for then using that Active Directory integration to drive and control your administrator logon access. This does not transcend to TACX or 802.1x. The AD integration is there already, so you can certainly do it. This just shows you specifically how in the ISC GUI to switch over administrator control to Active Directory. All right, guys, see you in a minute. Have a good one. All right, guys, the requirements for this video are pretty simple. In order to integrate ISC 3.0 into Active Directory and use it to control administrator access to ISC's console, you need, obviously, Active Directory stood up. You need ISC 3.0 also stood up and integrated with Active Directory, i.e. joined enabled access user groups. Uh, and then you also need, of course, a computer and a web browser. Now, you've probably satisfied that if you're watching this video. So we'll get right to it. See you in a minute. All right, guys, we're going to get right into this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start this video off as I always do. Let's go ahead and RDP into my lab box. Once we're here, the first thing I'm going to do is set up my super user group in Active Directory, the one that I want to map to admin control in ISC itself. So let's go ahead and type server manager here. This is Windows Server 2016. That is not necessarily relevant, but if you want to replicate exactly as I'm doing here, that is the version you need. I'm going to go to Active Directory, Users and Computers, which includes Groups. I'm going to go down to Users, and as you can see here, there's no user group in the I. Oh, there is an ICE Admins user group. Perfect. So that is the group that I'm actually going to tie to Administrator Access in ISE. Now, if you don't have one, a group is just a group. It means nothing until you provide it the privilege. So you would probably want to create a group similar to, as I have here, an ICE Admins group, and then place the privileged users into it. As you can see, my user account is in the ICE-admins user group. So that's perfect. I verified Active Directory is set up with a group that I want specifically to control administrator access to ISC. Next, we're gonna open the browser and navigate to the ICE instance. I'm gonna log in with the credentials that I configured while standing this box up or whatever you guys currently have as your admin credentials. Now, I just freshly installed this while creating the other video for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with those credentials here. Now notice there is no option for Active Directory login right there. It is only internal logins. And it doesn't say that, it just defaults to internal. So to get this started, you wanna click on the three dashed lines and come over to administration. And then you wanna click admin access. Now the idea of administrator access in ISC is tied to what's called admin groups. And it's done through what's called external groups that are mapped. So in your external identity source, in this case, Active Directory is the one we have externally mapped. You wanna take a group and map it to whatever privilege level you want internal. So just because my Active Directory group is named ISC admins does not mean necessarily it gives me admin access to ISC. If my ISE admins group was externally mapped to MNT admin, then that's the only privilege I would get. Now, to show you properly how to map ISE admins to the actual super user admin, let's click on super admin. All right, under here, we wanna say, hey, we wanna use external identity sources. You wanna select the group in the external identity source that you wanna use. Now, you notice nothing's popping up here. Oh no, why is that? Well. It's probably because I did not import the groups that I want to use. And this is something that many of you will run into. So I wanted to explicitly highlight it here. By default, when you join Active Directory, that's great, you're in Active Directory, that has not imported or brought in the groups that you actually need to use yet. So let's go do that. Go to Administration, External Identity Sources. Under here, click on the Active Directory group that you have joined. And let's go to groups. Notice it is empty. And this is exactly why I could not map any groups in that other view. We wanna click on add, select groups from directory. And this button is kind of hidden or hard to notice it's here, but this is an actual button. I don't know why it's not blue. You wanna leave your filter empty if you have a few groups. If you have many, many groups, then you actually want to filter because the load will be high trying to pull all the groups. Now my AD is very small, so I'm gonna leave it at the general uh, universal filters. 
And then in once it's pulled in all of the groups, I can import the specific groups I want to use here. And this is useful because for TACX, you may want to import your network admins, which I will actually, so I'm going to select that now. And then I also want for this demonstration to import the ICE admins group. Now it might be worth it later to also import SSH admins. So I'm going to go ahead and select a few of these that I would be interested in possibly using at a later time. All right, I think that about does it. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you notice these groups have been imported, most importantly the SIDs. I'm going to hit save. Okay, and from here we're going to go ahead and navigate back up, click on the hash marks, administration, admin access. All right, now the first thing you need to do is under authentication is drop down the identity source to your external Active Directory group, AD, and then whatever the name of your group was that when you imported it. Hit save. Now this will make Active Directory groups available in the access, in the administrator groups mappings. So then we'll come down and click on super admin. We'll check the external box and then drop down and map to the group that we want to give us super admin privileges in ISC. Now in this case, it just so happens to be ISC admins. And then we'll click save. Now at this point, it is up and running. You have used it, Active Directory to map to an internal user group role, in this case, super admins, and you told it under authentication to use external identity source Active Directory. So let's go ahead and check it. I'm gonna go ahead and log out here. You can see now this identity source dropdown is here that will allow me to toggle back and forth, but it defaults to the Active Directory. I'm going to go ahead and use my username here and my Active Directory credentials. And there you have it. We have successfully logged in with our new privileges. Now, you would have to navigate through a diff few different menus to verify and tease out, is it the appropriate rule set? I'm not gonna go into that here. You've obviously mapped from one group role to a group in Active Directory, and that is what you intended to accomplish. So we're gonna head in, end it here. Have a good one.